Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Ricardo. How are you? All right. I'm fine. Okay, I'm good. fine. Good, I good, have good. to keep to keep home every day. Stay home. Yes, we we have to to keep to stay uh, home. home. To stay home. Stay home. Yes, that's right. Okay, good. Lise, how are you? Fine, oh. and you? The, 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 quarantine, <laughs> the quarantine brought you. Yes. <laughs> Where have you been? Uh, we had an emergency in the okay. airport. All right. So that's the reason that I can't stay in the, in the class. But okay. I, I'm back. <laughs> okay, good. But have you studied the, the platform and videos? Yes. Yeah, okay. I try to, to complete the exercise. Okay, very good. Excellent. Good to see you again. Everything is fine? Everything is fine. Thank you. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Excellent. At the airport closed? Yes. Okay. But the, but the employees, uh, my uh, co workers, uh -huh. uh, still uh, working. Okay, they are working. Yeah. Okay. And me too. <laughs> and you too. Now and in my house. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Good. Excellent. Okay. So then we have uh, Roxana is there too, Eric, and also Carolina. Okay. Okay. How was the weekend? Good. Ricardo. Very good. Oh, very good. Ricardo? Yes, uh, I have. I I I have to take a rest uh, uh, the the whole weekend. Man mandatory. Yes, uh, I, I I have to follow the rules. Yes, right. Very difficult, right? Okay, very difficult to say. Okay, I have to rest. Okay, because I have to. Okay, it's good. All right, Eric, how are you today? Hi. Everything's fine. Right? Thanks. Right. Thanks a lot. Right. Good. Excellent. Okay, Roxana. How about you? We can hear. I can hear you. Your your mic. Your mic is mute. Your microphone is mute. Okay. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Now I can hear you loud and clear. Oh, really? Thank you. Okay. Uh, I went to my work. I told you that I went to my work today. Okay. All right. A long, long weekend. The long weekend, okay. Long good. weekend. No problem in the street with the authorities? No, no problem. Okay. I drove to work and... Came back. I, I drove to my work. Yeah. And came back to house, to the house, okay. Thank God, no problem. Okay, good. <coughs> Everything is fine then. And then we have also Veronica's connection. We have Carolina. How are you, Carolina? Hi. Okay. Hi, Veronica. <laughs> Veronica. Hi. Okay. Good. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, good. No problem. How was the day? Uh, interesting. interesting. <laughs> A little <Okay>. busy. <laughs> okay, that's good. If you're busy, it's the first time that I do an aerobics. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that then uh, to, today was busy, but tomorrow is going to be painful then. Uh, <laughs> I think. <laughs> yes, after the the aerobics today, then tomorrow you're going to feel the the effect of the. Aerobics. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> Okay. All right, so then uh, we finished uh, section three, right? Last uh, last uh, Thursday in the last class. Did you do the test? The no, mid yet. The midterm test, no? Okay, try to do it. Try to do it uh, this week. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know right here in the, um, in the chat. Okay, teacher, no problem if you're doing the test tomorrow or in this, during this week. No, 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 no problem. Okay, but do it. Okay, before the end, uh, the end of this week, right? So then, uh, and also the the knowledge check, right? Try to finish it. And okay. only if you have problem with the platform, because there is a message in the in the WhatsApp group, right? That if you have problems with the 
with the platform to let to let the teacher know or to let also the people from English Corporativo fix the problem, okay? So okay. in that case, you know, you can take your time and but try to finish it before the end of this week. So that you don't you don't accumulate too much uh, work or too many activities. Okay? okay. Teacher, right. sorry. Yes. Yes, Eric. Can I ask you something? Uh-huh. Okay, uh, do you work in another site during yes. the day? Uh, well, yes, but not, not today because it's, it's closed. I work at the at in an academy, okay? But right now I'm doing everything online, okay? And I also work at, okay. UCA, at UCA, but UCA is in the uh, School of Idiomas, right? Free courses, yeah, but yeah, School yeah. of Idiomas in this moment is completely, completely closed. Yes, yeah, yeah. but then I have to. Okay. To do everything from my house now. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. So let me share my screen here to see what we have for today. Here we are. Okay. But before this one. Okay, so this is what we have for today. Okay, Liz, now that you're back, will you please help us reading this um, a lesson objective, please? Okay, practice uh, asking and answering questions in English using the present perfect and simple past tense. In this lesson, English teacher Joe um, Science. Joe Science. Uh, when you use simple past versus the present perfect tense, depending on the time frame of the action, practice asking questions in the present. Have you ever and um, describing your past experience but by responding in both the present perfect and simple past, this lesson includes comprehension exercise. Okay, good. Uh, you know that, for example, the English tenses, like also in Spanish, right? They have their, uh, they have, let's say, the, a specific moment when we can use them, right? For example, if we want to use the, simple present we use it to express a habits okay or activities that we do every day for example i take a shower i play football i work at home i teach english okay everything is things that i do simple present in past tense we use it to express things that we did in the past okay but, you know, we don't do anymore. Okay, well, that's an action that is started in the past and finished in the past, right? I saw a movie last night. Okay, began, began to watch, finished watching it, and that's it. Okay, simple past. And the present perfect, the present perfect is an action that is started in the past, continues in the present, and probably might continue in the future okay for example uh we have been in quarantine we have been in quarantine for one day or two days i forgot two I forgot. days i forgot already for me it's like two months okay okay <laughs> two, days. two days the action started when saturday in the past okay mm -hmm continues in this moment and will continue in the future. That is the prince, the present perfect. We have been in quarantine for 48 hours, okay? For two days. And we are going, and what is the plan? We are going to be in quarantine for 30 days, okay? 30 days. 
All right. Mm -hmm. So then this is one example of practical life. Okay. Now let's see the video and see some other examples and then uh, take notes. If you have questions at the end of the video, let me know. Okay. Okay. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll be able to talk about the kind of food that you've eaten and the restaurants that you've visited. You'll also learn how to express past experiences. For example, you'll be able to ask and answer the following question. Have you ever eaten exotic food? Before I present the structure that we'll learn in this class, I would like for you to listen to an audio program. This audio program illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully as I'll ask you questions about the audio program at the end. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Let me present the structure now. I would like to start by presenting this concept to you. The first thing is that we use the simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. In other words, things that you did and have completed. And we use the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present time. In other words, events that you started in the past and those have continued to the present and they're not complete yet. Now, what we're going to learn in today's lesson is how the two are related. First of all, I may ask you a question, such as the one that you see on the example. Have you ever eaten snails? And your answer may be, yes, I have. And when you continue to give more information about your answer, you're going to use the simple past. And you're not going to use the present perfect to continue on giving more information because typically what you want to do is you want to express an experience that you had last week about that particular question right such as the example that we see there yes I have I tried them last month and I want you to notice the question towards the bottom it's no longer in the present perfect but it is now in the simple past and that's because we're asking questions about our um, past experience we're no longer asking questions about um, if you've ever eaten snails now the question is related to uh, the example that you see there I tried him last month and the next questions will be related to that event and so the answer to that is yes I did and then you give more information they were delicious and so we do the same thing uh, towards the left, towards, towards the right side of the example of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? We start off the question using the present perfect, and then you continue on and, and you give either a positive or a negative answer. And then in this case, it happens to be a negative answer. No, I haven't. Um, and then you might give more information, but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night, right? Um, and then the next questions that are followed here are in the simple past. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. Now that we understand the concept on how this topic is used, what I would like to do now is I would like to explain how to form questions using the present perfect. And, um, and so let me do that at this time. First of all, 
uh, we should learn the following concept that we're going to use have have it's an auxiliary verb and we're going to use have whenever i talk about the pronouns i you we and they and then i will use has whenever i talk about the pronouns he she or it or in other words third person right um and um so having said this what i would like to do now is i would like to present the structure on how to form those questions let me do that at this time in order for us to form the questions the first thing that we should include is an auxiliary have or has as i mentioned if we follow this rule we learned that we're either going to use have if I talk about I, you, we, or they, and we use has whenever we talk about the third person. So in this case, um, we're going to use have, um, and then follows the subject. Then this follows the word ever, and then the verb in its past participle form, and then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever eaten snails? And by the way, um, this word here is a frequency adverb, so sometimes you can remove it um, and um, the question will still be correct. But in this case, we want to use it. Have you ever eaten snails? Um, and what I mentioned was that you can either answer this question with a positive response, such as yes, I have, or this could be a negative response, such as no, I haven't. And so just so that we can see clearly what's happening what i'm going to do is i'm going to play with the colors at this time all right there we go so have you ever eaten snails and it's the same thing um, for our next question have you ever been to a vietnamese restaurant so let's do that one as well so i'm going to use have this follows the subject and then we're using the word ever so we use the verb to be in this case in the past participle form and then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? And then once again, the answer to that particular question can be yes, I have or no, I haven't. And what I would like for you to notice now is how we respond to that kind of question, right? I mentioned that we can either have a positive response to that question either yes I have or no I haven't and then this next sentence we're typically gonna follow with a simple past statement and the reason is because um, I'm gonna talk about my experience in the past so in this case I'm gonna say I tried them last month so this statement here basically talks about that past experience that I had which is related to this topic right so have you ever eaten snails and my, my answer to that question is yes I have I tried them last month so I I'm using the simple past and um, now the next questions that you see there which is what I mentioned earlier are in the simple past did you like them now all the questions are related to this event that you see here right it's no longer this question that you're answering you're answering the next question I tried them last month so you want more information about this event from last month did you like them and as you can see the answer yes I did they were delicious and we can see the same example towards the right side of this chart have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant well the answer to that question is no I haven't but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night the next question that is asked here has to do with this answer I ate at a Thai restaurant last night oh did you go alone um, this question refers to the per okay I pose it because um, I think it's good if we there is something here that is important to mention too right you have the question have you ever eaten snails right so that question means if at least one time in your life, if at least one time in your life, you have eaten this kind of food, okay? For example, have you ever, uh, have you ever eaten a uh, garro? Yes or no? No. Yes. 
Okay. No, yes, it's having. Indeed. Okay. Yes. Who said yes? Who said yes? Yeah, me, Veronica. Veronica, <laughs> right. okay. Okay, Veronica, right? The Veronica yeah. said, yes, I have. But if you see the information, when you say, have you ever eaten the robo? You say, yes, I have. But the information is not like very specific. I don't know exactly when. If it was yeah. when, when you were a little girl, uh, if it was one month ago, uh, when exactly, right? So in that moment, when you say, yes, I have, you are answering the present. I, I try and then. Um, uh huh. I tried it. A few years ago. Okay. I tried a few years ago. Okay. Where? Where did you try it? In San Miguel? In, in Candelaria, in my. My, oh, my hometown. Uh, uh, my hometown. My hometown. Yes, my hometown. Yes, my oh. uncle uh, right to my home. <laughs> okay, good. So then, did you like it? No, I didn't. <laughs> okay. If you see, for example, we started with, have you ever, if there is an action, an action that you have done at least one time in your life, and after the following questions are done in, in a, as a, for example, are in past tense, right? So, the, and then you are getting more, uh, some information which is more specific, okay? So in that way, you know, you can, uh, sometimes the present perfect might not be very specific with the, with the information that we want. Right. Okay, right. now let's continue. Um, and then the next questions that are followed here are in the simple past. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. Now that we understand the concept on how this topic is used, what I would like to do now is I would like to explain how to form questions using the present perfect. And ask whenever I talk about In order for us to form, um, we're going to use have frequency app or so sometimes you can all right there we go so have you ever eaten snails and it's the same thing Vietnamese restaurant and then once again the answer to that particular question can be yes I have or no I haven't and what I would like for you to notice now is how we respond to that kind of question right I mentioned that we can either have a positive response to that question either yes I have or no I haven't and then this next sentence we're typically gonna follow with a simple past and the reason is because um, I'm gonna talk about my experience in the past so in this case I'm gonna say I tried them last month so this statement here basically talks about that past experience that I had, which is related to this topic, right? So have you ever eaten snails? And my, my answer to that question is, yes, I have. I tried them last month. So I, I'm using the simple past. And um, now the next questions that you see there, which is what I mentioned earlier, are in the simple past. Did you like them? Now, all the questions are related to this event that you see here, right? It's no longer this question that you're answering. You're answering the next question. I tried them last month. So you want more information about this event from last month. Did you like them? And as you can see the answer, yes, I did. They were delicious. And we can see the same example towards the right side of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? Well, the answer to that question is no, I haven't but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. The next question that is asked here has to do with this answer. I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. Oh, did you go alone? Um, this question refers to the person going to that Thai restaurant last night. And he answers, no, I went with some friends. So as you can see, we use a combination of both, present perfect and the simple past to talk about things that you either started in the past continue to the present and then when you want to go into talking about a past experience that's when we use the simple past 
So let's see if we can do a couple of more questions. Um, have you ever tried sushi? How would you respond to that question? Well, typically most people have, so most people will say yes, I have. And so tell me about that experience, okay? So if you're going to tell me about that experience, then that's when we're, whenever we're going to use the um, simple past. So how would you tell me about that past experience? Well, have you ever tried sushi? Yes, I have. I um, ate sushi last month. Oh, I'm sorry. I ate sushi last month. Oh, really? And then whenever you start talking about that past experience, the next questions that will follow will be in the simple past. Did you like did you like it? How would you respond to that? Well, you can you can respond to that by answering yes, I did, or no, I didn't. I thought it was great, or I didn't like it. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer the following questions. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Have you ever visited Europe? Have you ever eaten exotic food? Um, as you answer these questions, what I would like for you to do is to answer the question with either yes, I have, and then I want you to tell me that past experience. So similar to the examples that we see on the chart, let's say the question is, have you ever eaten Mexican food? I'll say that your answer is yes, I have. Then you will tell me where and how did you like it? So as you can see, what I'm trying to get to is that you give me your response and then you give me information about that particular past event. And that's what I would like for you to do for all of those questions there. Okay. Now, any questions? No, this one. Oh, I don't. I don't have a question. Okay, it's clear. For example, you know the the use of the present perfect, right? Action mm -hmm. that started in the past gets the present and might continue into the future. And after that, once we have that piece of information, then we can continue asking for more uh, information questions or questions according to that talk. Okay, all right. So then so we are going in. Uh -huh. We are going to we are going to combine. Uh huh. To combine two tenses, right? In this the, case, the the simple past and the. Okay. Yes. That's we are talk, we are going to talk. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, that's according, you know, to the topic, right? But remember that this is uh, what I like. Also, is not only to practice according to one structure, right? Also to improvise. For example, what happened if I ask you in this moment, Eric, uh, have you ever have you ever studied English online? What would you answer? Yes, I have. No, no, yes, I haven't. haven't. Have you ever studied English online? Yes, yes, I have. Sorry. Okay. Yes, I have. Uh, I've been studying English for uh, two months. Why do you say? Why do you say I've been studying? You changed. I am studying. No, no, it's okay. It's good. It's a good answer. You are. Oh, okay, okay. You, if you see, you change from present perfect to present perfect continuous because you are okay. doing that in this moment. See, for example, okay, okay. how automatically, right, automatically, you give the correct answer. Okay, that is a spontaneous. Okay, that is a spontaneous. For example, you can say, uh, well, have you ever studied English online? You can say, yes, I have. As a matter of fact, de hecho, as a matter of fact, I am studying English online in this moment. Yes? Study. Uh -huh. I am, you can say, I am studying English online in this moment. Yes or no? Yes. Right? Everybody is studying English online. Okay, so you see, it will. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. 
relative, right? Depending on the situation, depending on the, on the context, you are going to use it. In this moment, we are using the context of past tense, right? But it could be in present, it could be present progressive, okay? It could be oh, the other time. Okay, good. Now let me see, okay, I have something here. Okay, let me see if I can. Just let me check something that I want to send you a link, but I want to make sure. Teacher. Yes. Uh, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, what is a snail? A snails. A snails. Uh, Caracol. Caracoles. Okay. Okay. Caracoles. Okay. Thanks. But, but, but not the expression caracoles, right? Uh huh. Yes. <laughs> Literally. Uh huh. Yes. No, this is. Uh -huh. yeah, it's delicious, it's delicious. It's yes, delicious. but for some people in, in Honduras, it's very common, right? The, the soup, snail soup. Sopa de caracol, right? Sopa de caracol. Yes. Then uh, some Sopa people like it, some people... Sopa de caracol is some... Uh-huh. Okay, just let me... Okay. I will send you this link. Let me see. Okay. Look in the chat. Can you see? Oh, but this is okay. the chat of what's up? No, in the chat of the, um, this the Zoom. Yes, I have from Zoom. Uh, Can you see a link? Teacher. Yes. Um, le voy a hacer una pregunta en español. Fíjese que he tenido problemas con esta regla. No, no sé por qué me cuesta entender cuando uso el had y el had. Si me puede dar una pequeña explicación en español. Had. Had en pasado. En had. Uh -huh. Okay. Had. Okay. Give me, give me a second. Give me a second. I'll give it to. You. I'll help you. Uh, let me see. I will send it to your WhatsApp. Probably you can. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, here we go. Okay, I will send you a link in this moment. And I want you to do the exercises and that link. Okay, so. Okay, you got it? Yeah. Look in your WhatsApp. Okay. Yes, I got it. Okay, yes. you will you will see. Uh, let me see. Wait, Roxana. Okay, I I'm I'll, I'll give you an answer to that. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, you will see this exercise. Okay, can you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what you're gonna get in that link. Okay, and then you have uh, 10 answers. I mean, sorry, 10 questions, so 10 exercises. And then you just have to choose one answer, right? For example, then you, the answer is there. Okay, if you say here, for example, is... Well, teacher, uh -huh. we have only uh, one answer right there. Yes, we have only one answer, right? So then, uh, but you just have to, I don't know, okay, I haven't played. Wait, so I, I, that's what I wanted to check because it was working and now I didn't see you at the yes. party last night. Yes, okay, so that's the answer, okay? But well, we can see it here. And then we have the first one, just tell me the answer. Uh, I haven't or I didn't. 
Don't look at the app. I have it. played volleyball in several months. Okay, so then we have here. Uh -huh. I haven't. Okay. The other one is? I didn't see. Because it's I didn't last see. Last night. I didn't see. Because it says last night, right? Uh-huh. Right. The next one? Yeah, sister. Visited. Young sister? Visited. 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 Young sister visited her friend in London last year. Last year. Okay. So that would be visited. Because you see, now, you can see now, for example, another uh, several months, present perfect, expressions like last night, last year, is for the past tense, right? This is un, like a clue, una pista. Okay, and this one, number four. I was born in a small town. I was born in a small town. I was born in a small town in Italy. I was born in a small town. The next one. You haven't. Told. You haven't. haven't told her, oh. have you? You haven't told her, have you? No, you didn't tell. No. Oh, it's okay. You haven't told because it's have you. If you say you okay. didn't tell. Her, here we'll say, did you? Okay. Did you? Okay. So the next one? You didn't tell her. You didn't tell uh -huh. her. Look did at you the her. Did you? Uh -huh. You didn't tell her, did you? Yes. Okay, the next one? Uh, I have lived in Los Angeles for five years. Okay, this is the period of time that you have done yes. so, that you have done something, right? I'm I present have lived, perfect. I have, I have lived. Yes, I have I have been in quarantine for forty eight hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want I want to go out. Yes. <laughs> Me <Okay>. too. <laughs> uh, after day after this I'm going to have a quarantine outside the house. Okay. <laughs> Number eight. I live. I live in Los Angeles for five years. I have lived. What an I live. I have lived. I have I live in Los Angeles for five years. But I no longer live there, right? I no longer. Okay, so the action is finished. Then it's past tense. B. Live. Past tense, yes. Uh -huh. Because it's no longer, no more. My girlfriend and I went out, I went out there. Went out. Sign went out. Last three times. Went last out week. three times last week. Went out three times. It's a past tense. Past tense, correct. Yes. Okay. And the last one? How to work it. It's a present Other? perfect. I have walked I have to, walk to work every day work this every week. week. Okay, good. I have worked every day this week. Okay, there you go. Well, it took us out. But if you see, if you go to this page in grammar test, in this page, you can find exercises about anything you want in that link. Okay? You go to the top. A vocabulary. You can have vocabulary training too. Okay? Talking about. Thanks. Okay? Talking about work. You can say this job too. It's stressful or it's stress out? Okay, it's stressful. Stress out. It's stressful. Uh, it's yes, stressful. It's a stressful. lot of work, but I can deal handle. or handle it. Handle it. Okay? Handle. Like this, you can practice. Handle it. Handle it. Handle it. Handle it. Uh -huh. handle okay? It, okay? You can find here in this uh, link, grammar test, vocabulary, listening comprehension. Okay, listening exercises. Too. Okay. Uh, for audio, and then uh, it's, it's very completely. Oh yes, of course. English, for example, the spelling practice test one. This is from basic to acceptable. Okay, acceptable, and you can write the word here. Okay. Rhyme. Rhyme. Okay. okay. Possible. Schedule. 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 Bargain. 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 Okay. And then you can Bargain. find a lot of vocabulary here, right? And exercises. You can see the answers. 
acceptable, right, possible, the schedule, bargain, argument. So it's like a, like an extra book. Okay, reading comprehension. Okay. Okay, if you want to Perfect. read. Okay, then you read a uh, paragraph. You read here. And then after you can find the answer, the questions on the other side, right? And here okay. you have the questions. Okay, and then you can check answers. So this is a like an extra practice that you can Okay? Good. Okay. Thanks. Excellent. Okay, so then now Roxana. Now going back to okay, we're going to make a brief how many people do we have? Nineteen. Okay, I'm going to make some groups, okay? And I want you to practice the questions like, have you ever, okay? Have you ever uh, studied, have you ever driven, have you ever flown? Practice verbs in past participle, okay? What is the past participle of fly? Fly, flew, flown, okay? Fly, flew, flown, all right? And then, uh, for example, run, run, run. Have you ever run in a marathon? Have you ever swum? Have you ever swum in the ocean? Right? Have you ever, uh, have you ever, uh, let me see, have you ever tried a, how do you call this? Uh, sushi. Have you ever eaten sushi? Okay, have you ever written a, an article in the newspaper? Okay, have you ever, okay falling in love, okay, whatever, okay? So then I'm going to make the groups and please uh, practice these questions. There will be six groups of three. Okay, clear. Okay, here we go. Okay, accept the uh, invitations. Uh, Roxana, you wait until the end, okay? We're not stressed in the quarantine. <laughs> okay, okay, Roxana, here you are. No me espero en el otro grupo. No sé. Okay. No, no, no okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, look, uh, the question is have and had. Present perfect and past perfect. That's your question. Uh -huh. Okay. Have is when you are talking about things now. Uh, let's say, for example, have you ever seen an elephant this is the question have you seen an elephant alguna vez have you ever have you seen ever? an okay. elephant okay this is have, uh -huh. have you have, ever have you ever yes have you ever uh -huh. and have is in past perfect it, that's for example something that is more let's say uh, in the in a moment in the past for example, imagine in this moment you are in high school. Okay? Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. are what? 16 years old. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, when you were 16 years old, now, before that moment, had you ever, had you ever uh, studied English? When you went to high school, had you ever, have you studied English alguna vez? Before you, have you ever had had uh, had have you ever uh -huh, that's had okay have is a and had will be había in past tense the past perfect okay. and have you in present is as okay is that is that's the third person has is for he she it for example uh, Veronica have you ever have you ever 
flown on a plane? Yes, I have. Okay. Roxana, has Veronica, okay, has Veronica ever flown on a plane? Flown. Flown, flown. Like a, yes, she, she has. Yes, yeah, she has, correct. Okay. She has. has yes, she has. Is for he, she, it. Okay. Yeah, now, yeah, uh, I understand. Okay, Carolina. Okay. Are you married? No, I haven't. No, I am not. Okay, no, I am not. So then, uh, then, then Veronica, are you married? No, I am not. Okay, hey, you're lucky. You're lucky. Yeah, okay. I'm very happy. I'm single. <laughs> okay, do you Go have on, a... guy, ladies. Yes, yes, great. And, and you, Roxana, are you married? I'm married. Okay, then you are the one, okay. No. Sorry, dear. you for you. Okay. Yes. Has your, has but your... I am separate. Okay, good. Ah, no. Okay, good. Okay. 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 Has your ex? But it's not for, for the quarantine. It's before. <laughs> it's forever. It's forever. Okay. Has your ex husband? Okay. Has your ex husband uh, ever uh, flown on a plane? Flown, uh, I don't know what plong, is. Flown, 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 like fly, flew, flown on an airplane. Flown is levantarse. Uh -huh, volar, right. A volar. Uh -huh. uh, has you... Has your ex-husband you, ever flown? But the, the question is how or has? Has. Has, has, has your ex-husband. Your ex-husband. Flown uh, on a plane? Yes, my... Yes. Uh, he, he, he has. has. Yes, he yes, has. Yes, he has. Okay, good. So that is the third person, has. And the other one is, have you ever? Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh-huh. Okay, perfect. Okay. Uh, Thank you, Tricia. Okay, you're welcome. Yes. Okay, Laura. Hello. Hi, I'm, I am alone. Yes, why are you alone? You didn't get the invitation. Yes, I entered, but I'm alone. You were alone. Okay, let me see. Good thing to know. Let me check how we can... Where are you? You are now here. Yes, more. I'm going to send you... Okay, I'm going to send you to group one with Liz and Josue. Okay. Okay, so you have... Beautiful. Yes. It's good. It's Very good. It's, yes. I is, that is good for your for your job. It's I, interesting. I, yes, I start uh, to work uh, in in uh, nineteen uh, seventy one. Seventy one. Seventy one. Yes. <gasps> wow, it's uh, almost uh, thirty years. <laughs> yes. I, I work uh, many, many years. This, this, year is a, this year is approximately when I was born. I was born in 1976. <laughs> yeah, yes, I was born in 1964. <laughs> many times ago. <laughs> many times ago, yes. I born okay. in 1977. Ah, yeah. Wow, yes. Okay, have, have you ever um, uh, uh, exotic uh, food? Only conchas. <laughs> <laughs> the conchas are, 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 are beards <laughs> combination. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes and I, I eat I eaten a heart, the, the cow. Okay. What about you, yours? Okay, I have uh, flown to the Anaheim. Since um, 15 years, almost. <laughs> okay. Um, it's your turn. Uh, 
Did you go to with your family? Where? And who? <laughs> uh huh. Joshua, please. <laughs> For me. Joshua. Okay. Okay. What do you mean? Did you go with your family at a um, supermarket today? <laughs> No, not I. I can't go out from my house today. Okay. Okay, there is, that's a good question. For example, uh, Liz, have you gone out during this quarantine? Oh, I I, I stay my house. <laughs> no, I haven't. Right? No, you. Haven't. I haven't. No, I okay, haven't. Okay, good. And you, Jose, have you gone out during this quarantine? <sighs> the last. The last day yes. to go out it was the Friday. <laughs> oh really? Oh, okay. Yes. Yes, because I I went to the to the job, my job. Mm -hmm. But the Saturday and Sunday and now in my house. In your house. Lockdown. Okay, lockdown. Yeah. <laughs> A lockdown. Yes. Okay. Yes. And you Jose? Yes, I have to go to my job today. Okay. And maybe I I go tomorrow. You will go tomorrow, okay? But uh, you only went to work. You didn't go to another place. Yes, because uh, the, I am, I am, uh, I am doing the letters to the people who can get, can go to the job tomorrow. Okay, you are in charge. Okay. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Of giving the letters to the employees. Yes. Okay. Wow. That's and how many employees? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Okay. And you have to sign. Yes, one by one. Oh, okay, good. So you're the lucky one. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Well, continue practicing, right? I'll be Thank you, back teacher. later. Okay. Thank you. I really. <laughs> I uh, I can't drive a, a, mo a motorbike. Yeah, but, but it's it's very. Uh, uh, what do you say? Adrenaline? Adrenaline. Adrenal adrenaline. 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 It's very adrenaline. A lot of Ad too much adrenaline. And dangerous. <laughs> yes. It's dangerous. I think it's dangerous. But I like more uh, than the car. For me. Really? Yes, it's, it's better. Uh, it's quickly. It's faster. Yes. Because yes. You can you oh, can fast. go for B point to A point more quickly, faster, faster. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yes, but also you can go from this life to the other life faster. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, you have, to be, you have to be very careful. You right? need to be careful. Very very. You need careful. to be careful. Sometimes it's not the the motorcycles. Sometimes it's the buses, the cars. I mean, everything yes. can happen, right? So it's. Is dangerous. But I, I been, I been ride a motorcycle. I have around, ridden. I have ridden a motorcycle. I have, I have ridden a motor, a motorcycle uh, six years ago, mm -hmm. and I love, I love it. I love it really. You know? Mm -hmm. now what do Why? you? And now what do you drive? Uh, or what do you ride a motorcycle? Yes, I, I have a, a car too, but. I, I always prefer a, a motor, motorcycle. The motorcycle, yes, the bike. It's better, the motorbike. Okay, good, excellent. Okay, okay. keep on practicing, right? Okay, okay. Xiomara? Thank you, teacher. Yes. Have you ever a, played soccer? I think two, two weeks ago. No, two months ago. Okay. Uh, yeah, and you, Jorge? Yes, I have. I went to the gym twenty-five years ago. <laughs> many years ago. Oh, yeah, many, many years. Yes, yes. 
in, in this moment, practice in, in exercise in the house. Oh, no. I only work in the park. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How are you? Yeah. Good. Do you have any question for us? We are prepared. <laughs> yes. No, it's okay. Do you have any questions about the structure? No? No. No, no. teacher. No. All right, no, good. We now we're going to come back, come back to the main class, right? Right. Okay. 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 Hi. Hello. Okay, now I'm just gonna show you a short video, two more minutes about this, and then uh, we go back to the session, and then we see if we have everything clear. Can you see it and hear it? No, I hear it. I can. Hey, Kabe, you're looking. It's okay the sound? Yes. Okay. This is Everyday Grammar. I'm Kave. And I'm Lucia. Hey, Kave, you're looking a bit tanned. Did you go to the beach? I did. I went to Florida last weekend. Have you ever gone to Florida? Sure I have. I've gone there two years ago. Wait, you mean you went there two years ago? What's the difference? Good question. You're asking about the difference between the simple past and present perfect verb tenses. I went to Florida is in the simple past. You use the simple past to talk about a past event that happened at a certain time. Okay, that makes sense. But what about I have gone? I have gone to Florida is in the present perfect. It shows that a past event happened at an unknown time. Okay, this is, you know, what I was telling you, right? When we use the present perfect, the time or the moment that this happened is not very clear. It's unknown. For example, have you ever... Have you ever gone to the United States? Yes, I have. When exactly? We don't know, okay? The moment is unknown, desconocido, right? It's not very clear. So that's why sometimes it's necessary to ask questions in the past tense. When did you do this? When did it happen? Wait, but okay. if it's about the past, why is it called the present perfect? Well, it's to emphasize the present effect of a past action. I have graduated from college. I graduated from college. Interesting. That's a lot to think about. Is there an easier way to remember? As a matter of fact, there is. Focus on the adverbs. Adverbs like yesterday, ago, and last night. Okay, these are the key the key words, okay? Remember in the oh, yeah, man. like in the exercise, huh? The exercise, right? I uh, okay. last last month, last week, uh, last year, uh, okay. last time, last weekend, last Saturday, last Monday, last Tuesday. Uh, last a determinated a uh, determinated uh, time. Yes, that would be for simple past. Okay. Yesterday, okay? Two months ago, one month ago, three months ago, an hour ago, one minute ago, simple past. Okay, so go with the simple past. Go with the simple past. Adverbs like never, already, for, and since. Okay, never, I have never, I have never drank a beer. Okay, 
I have never drank a beer. That is a lie. Yes, but it's a good sentence. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but it's a correct sentence, right? It's only, <laughs> it's only, an, it's only an explanation, okay? No, it's, no, it's true, right? So this is, I never. But you say, I have never drank a beer. They say, that's a lie, yes. Okay, <laughs> good sentence. I okay. already, I have already, I have already drunk six beers. That is a lie too. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> up to this moment okay and four is for example when you say i have worked as an english teacher for 25 years is the period of time okay the period of time the amount the quantity of time or years and okay. i have worked as an english teacher since uh, 1994 okay for example Okay, this is the starting time, the starting moment, since and for. They go with the present perfect, okay? Okay. They go with the present perfect. Wow, I have never thought of it like that before. And that's everyday grammar. Okay. Okay, guys, so then those are, you know, with the link I sent you, plus the video that you can all, uh, watch again, the video from the platform, okay, that also has good information. Uh, I don't know how, how is your ability or how is your knowledge about the, the past participle of the verbs? Are you doing good with that? Yes. Yes? For example, what is the past participle of, uh, let's say, take? Tell me. This is a take, the past tense. Took. What do you say? Past tense of take. Took. Taken. Uh -huh. taken. And the past participle? Taken. 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 Okay, they took, taken. Catch. Catch, Catch. poke. Caught. Caught. Catch, caught, caught. Okay. okay, catch, cut, cut. Okay, then uh, tomorrow I will send you uh, in the WhatsApp uh, some inform some uh, a list of verbs, right? And tomorrow okay. we're going to have some practice, the, a review, a quick, a quick review of the past participle of the verbs. Okay, okay, so that you that okay. so that you can refresh refresh the your knowledge about the past participle of the verbs and try to use other verbs, not the usual verbs that we use, okay? For example, uh, how do you say no he comido, no he comido pupusas? I haven't eaten pupusas. I haven't eaten, right? I haven't eaten. Eaten is a very I common. I haven't eaten. Eaten pupusas since, since last Friday. Eaten. Since, since last the last dinner. <laughs> since, since, since yesterday. No, since last Friday, imagine, I'm, I'm dying. I, <laughs> I prepare pupusas today. Oh, really? Oh, don't say that, please. You're breaking my heart. <laughs> delicious. <laughs> yes, delicious, I know. Okay, so then uh, this is what we're going to do tomorrow, okay? Practice with uh, different verbs and try to remember verbs that we don't use a commonly right so that we can practice commonly uh, uh, other other alexera uh, with other actions okay so that would okay. be for tomorrow okay, uh, okay. No thank you so teacher thank okay everybody. thank you have a good thank night you. see you tomorrow good have a good night too good night bye bye see you tomorrow see you tomorrow